All right, Sierra has a new team, of course. It's going to be Ralts, ladies and gentlemen. And so, the thing about Ralts, kind of like with Arlo with Beldum, it's not exactly the same, but you can almost use it in the principle of whatever you send against Ralts is almost what you want to send for the second spot Pokemon because Ralts can really faint so easily, right? So, I do just want to specify you see two screens because sometimes I'll be like, man, the Team Go Rocket leaders are so easy. We're making this so much harder than it needs to be by going under 1500 CP. You could just out-muscle them with 2,000, 3,000 CP plus legendaries, mythical. So I said, hey, why don't I just do it? While also, of course, giving you the harder mm, budget teams, you know, maybe somebody who's new, has less options, whatever it may be on the left. So the right side is going to be that one that really is. And they're trying to out-muscle it at least. I mean, look at that. Milo Tick, not exactly the easiest one to out-muscle. It is beefy. And so Kartana was a decent choice. I mean, if it was powered up higher, I know it's funny to say that it's almost 2,600. It's just powered up even a little bit more. Might have actually outlasted uh, that Milotic's attacks, but if you're ever going against Sableye, a great choice is actually Wigglytuff. It kind of goes against also the typical convention of logic that I use, which is I want super spammy fast and charge attack combinations, but it doesn't really have that, you know, if you're using Charm especially. Charm has that fast attack. It can take down a Sableye pretty good, and it actually did help us a little bit with Houndoom right here, but mainly we wanted Houndoom doom to go up against something fighting type the cool thing about polyrath is not only did we use it to defeat giovanni a little bit and it's good for that but it's really good against houndoom in the respect that if houndoom's using snarl like it is on the left side it's going to resist that but also if it was using fire fang it's going to resist that right because polyrath is part fighting that resists dark and part water which means it's going to resist the fire so i mean it's pretty nice because it also deals super effective back which would be in the form of either water or fighting and also ground in this case you know, it had Mud Shot, it had Power Up Punch, you could also have it with Bubble. Uh, I wouldn't always advise that. Usually Mud Shot is what's really nice for the uh, Team Go Rocket fights, but ladies and gentlemen, pretty self-explanatory here. I hope that you checked out the tips that we had on screen, but please click an end screen to see a different video, maybe against Giovanni or something. Thanks for viewing.